The member for Durack has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Foreign Affairs. How is the China Free Trade Agreement creating opportunity for Australian businesses overseas, and how will this lead to more jobs and growth for all Australians? The Minister for Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Durack for her question because she will know from the experiences of local businesses in her electorate of Durack that the free trade agreement with China is already bringing benefits in terms of more sales for goods and services, and that means more jobs. Now, members will recall that the coalition government in 2006 commenced the negotiations for the free trade agreement with China. And then when Labor came into office in 2007, nothing happened. For six years, lost opportunities because Labor did not understand the economic importance of a free trade agreement with China. When we came back into office in 2013, Andrew Robb was assiduous in concluding free trade agreements, including with Member China. We have now had the free trade agreement enter into force last year, and two months later, we are already seeing the benefits in terms of more opportunities and more jobs. Now, there is a business in the members' electorate, the Geraldton Fishermen's Cooperative, and they have taken the opportunity under the China Free Trade Agreement to build a warehouse for live rock lobsters from WA in Guangzhou. This is the first time a seafood company from Australia has held produce on Chinese soil. Now, what this means is that the cooperative is able to now source and supply from Geraldton into Guangzhou live lobster, high quality West Australian rock lobster within 16 hours. This is one of the most efficient live lobster supply chains in the world. And what it means is that the Geraldton Cooperative is now positioning itself to be the market leader into China for a burgeoning industry, high quality West Australian seafood. And when the tariffs hit zero in 2019, the market will be even bigger. More sales means more jobs in Australia in the sourcing and supplying of rock lobsters. Now, this is a very important issue because it's all part of our economic plan for economic growth and new jobs. And Labor just doesn't get it. Members will recall that Labor tried to block the China Australia Free Trade Agreement. Labor tried to block new markets and new jobs. And we should have we should have realised what was happening because the Leader of the Opposition has formed when it comes to Remember free trade Charlton. agreements. Remember Mark Latham, the man that they wanted to be Prime Minister the of Member Australia? For Rankin is he said this, little Billy Shorten was in my ear about the free trade agreement, the US, telling me the party has to support it. I said I thought he and his union were against it, to which he said, that's just from members. We need to say that sort of thing when they reckon their jobs are under threat. The two faces of Liddy, Little Bill Shorten, public Shorten against the free trade agreement. The Minister's time has expired.